This video focuses on the auditing of the organization's manufacturing process. In this video, we specifically focus on the auditing and management of the control of temporary process change. The auditor is questioning the operator, but also with support from the quality manager who is present during this part of the audit. Watch the video and identify whether the auditor audits this activity effectively. Uh, so, as you know, I chose to audit this process because I noticed there were uh, several complaints in the last couple of months yeah. on surface yeah. defects. Yeah. And recently there was a change. Yeah, the change was uh, that we have, we used to have an inbuilt camera system. Can you see on the jig on the end there? Oh, yeah. We used to have a camera there, but we had all sorts of maintenance problems. So, for the last two months, we haven't been using the camera. We've been using the operator visual inspection of the product. Okay. Uh, so I'm looking at your FEMA here. Yeah. Um, I, I can't see that. Uh, do you know why? No. So temporary changes we don't put on the FMEA or the control plan. We have a company temporary change process. And in that process, we consider the risk. Uh, we consider the traceability requirements, the reinspection requirements. All of that gets built into our temporary change management process. Okay. So, so we don't put temporary changes in the FMEA. We don't put them in the control plan. So you mentioned you consider risk. What is your process to consider? Um, so what we look at is what was the camera trying to do? So the camera was trying to verify for short shots for service damage. And then we train the operators to effectively replicate what the camera does. Okay, let me talk to the yeah, operator. Yeah, this is the operator. Yeah. Uh, can you explain to me what checks you're doing on this process? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, just looking for generally short shots and any surface defects that might come through. Okay, well how do you know if the part's good or bad? Okay, I've been trained by the uh, quality manager, okay, or the quality supervisor how to do this. I should have some master samples, I should have some work instructions, I should have, but I haven't got any of those amounts. So I've just been trained on what I'm doing. Okay. Well, how do you know that he's confident to perform? Uh, I trained him. So I, I train all the operators when we have a temporary process change to make sure I make sure I train all of the, the operators in any temporary inspections like uh, Joe is doing here. Okay, and do you verify that they can see there is there any vision tests or color blindness tests? Uh, for Joe. It's not a problem because he only recently moved to having glasses. Um, we're thinking of introducing a mandatory colour blindness and eyesight check for the guys that are doing the visual inspection, but as of today, we haven't got that. Okay. Uh, just so you know, I'm going to have to raise this as a non-conformity. Okay. I guess I can understand that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Let's summarise. The good thing, again, the auditor is down on the shop floor observing the implementation of the control of temporary process change. Also, the audit trails that were developed were followed based upon a customer-related issue. It is evident from the evidence collected the organisation does not have an effective process to manage temporary process change. In this case, the relevant IETF 16949 requirement is 8.5.6.1.1 temporary change of process control. Whereas the sanction interpretation 11 clarified that an alternative process control is not needed for every primary process control, there is still the need to effectively manage temporary process change. In this case, there had been customer-related issues and the operator had not been effectively trained to carry out the visual inspection and there was no evidence of his competence to perform the job had been verified. This would give the basis for a potential major non-conformity. Let's summarise the key learning points. In ITF 16949-2016, there was a new requirement added about the management of temporary process change. In ITF audits, auditors should effectively audit an organization's process for managing not just permanent changes, but temporary changes. Audit trails should be developed 
following any related customer issues or internal performance issues. And in this video, the auditor obviously did do that in following the audit trail. For more information, visit the website in the description and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.